We're hearing now that that uh, missile warning has been called off. What do we know about this in the broader context of what's happening here? Right, yes, well, it was a very tense half an hour even here in Tokyo, although the alert, as you said, was just issued for Hokkaido, which is the northernmost island and quite far distant from the capital. Um, yeah, so, so the government was telling everybody to take shelter, to get into a building, to go underground if they can, um, which is always kind of a um, subject of a joke in Japan because most people don't have basements or anywhere to shelter underground anyway, so um, it's all a bit theoretical. But yes, as you say, it seems to have landed. Um, we don't know a lot of detail about what is thought to have been a, a ballistic missile at the moment. Um, the fact it was in, in the air for so long implies it was probably a fairly long-range one, I think. Um, and the other things are about why why, why this timing to, to do something that is a really quite a threatening move towards Japan? Um, obviously, this weekend, Japan has the G7 foreign ministers uh, meeting here, as well as the G7 um, energy ministers. It could be a possible message to the American ministers. Tony Blinken will be here, for example, this weekend. Um, also, we have some uh, events coming up in the North Korean calendar. For example, the, the birthday of the current leader's uh, grandfather is coming up at the weekend. And often these kind of events uh, spur North Korea to sort of, in a, in a sense, celebrate the event or mark the event by uh, launching a, a, a weapon or a missile. So all, all of these things are, are potential reasons for why this is happening now.